Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Anne, you're on Scent Solutions, and we talk all about perfumes here. So if that's your jam, then you're in the right place. Thank you to my returning subscribers for always watching. And if you're new on here, welcome to the family. I really hope you enjoy it here. We have a fun time talking about perfumes. So today I'm talking seven winter vanillas because I know a lot of you are in regions, countries where it is really cold. It's winter season. The weather is cold and you need something warm, comforting, reassuring to wear for the season. So I've curated seven perfumes from my collection and I wanted to share them with you. They are vanilla forward, of course, with other support scene notes, but vanilla is the center of the show in most of these perfumes. So let us start in no particular order with Mon Golan. This is my beautiful lavender vanilla combo. This is just that lavender vanilla mix that is calming and really comforting. There's a richness and a sensuality in this fragrance that you cannot deny. It is vanilla done differently. This is the first time for me that I was experiencing lavender in a non-masculine way in perfume. So I really, really, really enjoyed this. You can see the dents in this perfume. It's the Morgulon Intense Eau de Parfum and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. The warmth and the depth of Morgulon makes it really ideal for the cooler months. The base is a bit woody, you know, a bit earthy, but it is so very beautiful for warm weather. The lavender, the vanilla, of course, provides that comforting, cozy sensation. And to me, this feels like being wrapped in a very familiar, soft blanket by the fireplace. It makes a very good daytime, bedtime scent. It's absolutely stunning for the cold, crisp and chilly cold air. So I find that it really, the warmth here complements the coldness and the crispness of the winter air so yep this is an evergreen perfect choice for winter in my opinion next up we have another one that i have a dupe of i don't have the original but the original for this is gentle fluidity gold from maison francis Jean. what i have is a dupe called other barakat gentle gold this is from fragrance world okay so they are a middle eastern house that makes fragrance dupes now this is absolutely beautiful either this or gentle fluidity because i have smelled both and to be fair they smell this very very similar this has prominent notes of vanilla amber juniper berries nutmeg coriander and when you start to you know hear things like nutmeg when you start to hear coriander what comes to my mind is christmas baking cooking you know everything that has to do with that warmth and just coziness of Christmas and cold and winter. So here, the vanilla and amber are very comforting and cozy. And then the addition of juniper berries sort of adds a fresh and I would say sparkly element to this. The spices in here gives it, you know, that, would I say, slightly warm quality you know the spiciness in here the musky undertones add depth and give it a very lush and enveloping feel so the way that i feel about this would be the way i feel about mongrelon there's just something really familiar and enveloping and warm and kind <laughs> and gentle about these perfumes they are vanilla but they have like great accompaniments that just make them really wearable and very versatile so to me i would wear either mongolon gentle gold in any weather but i'm bringing them out in winter because they have a lot of qualities a lot of notes that do very very well in cooler weather it reminds me a lot of christmas ugly sweaters baking cakes everything that has to do with that cold winter season is what this reminds me of so gentle fluidity gold or any of its dupes will make perfect perfect vanillas for the winter next up we have vanilla noir now secrets the scent i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly but this is from is rocher and it is a pure vanilla fragrance this is a soft 
powdery sweet woody vanilla with a sprinkling of like orange blossom and mimosa and a hint of citrus the citrus in here is mandarin okay so this one captures the essence of vanilla in a very unique and also sophisticated way because it has orange blossom and i find orange blossom to be very sophisticated in perfumes i love it in um, Ellie Saab's Le Parfum. I think that the orange blossom in there is done in a very sophisticated, almost old school manner, but I really enjoy it. I think that the orange blossom in here is perfect. It's perfect proportion to the vanilla. And, you know, I find that this is centered around the rich warmth of vanilla, but it's not too... It's not like an edible gourmand, if you get what I mean. There are those subtle woody notes. There's the orange blossom that give it like a darker, warmer sensation. And I totally enjoyed this. It is very wearable. It has like a plush, cashmere-ish feel to it. That's how I feel about this perfume. It's like really plush cashmere. It will protect you against the chill weather, but then it will evoke a warmth and indulgence that is very, very intoxicating. And so I enjoy this. Now, all the perfumes I've talked about so far, in terms of projection, they are not heavy projectors. They form a cute little scent bubble around you, but you know, no one is going to smell them from a mile away. The aim here is to create warmth, to create some cozy, comfortable cocoon around you. Next up, we have Nishane's 100 Silent Ways. Ooh, this perfume is very dependable. I, I just, I love it. It's a fruity, white floral vanilla. So here you have peach, you've got tuberose, there's jasmine, orris vanilla, sandalwood, a vetiver at the base that make it, you know, long lasting and all of the sort. Nishane is one I consider to be a year-round fragrance, but I noticed that in cold weather, it is particularly more delightful to wear, and that's because that opening combination of peach, mandarin, tubers create a very fresh but creamy perfume, and I love it. Love, love. The middle, which is like largely floral with the oris and all that, adds elegance to the vanilla. So the middle is really elegant. Then you have the vetiver, the woods at the base that add to the longevity and the staying power of this perfume. So to me, it is cozy. It's inviting. It has a very approachable quality. You know, it's the kind of perfume you wear. It's niche, but it's very approachable, not of protein, very feminine. It feels like a warm, reassuring hug in cold weather. So if you're looking for a touch of warmth and elegance to add to your winter perfume collection, I don't think you should look any further than Nishane 100 Silent Ways. And look at my dent. I've used this perfume to the max and I've enjoyed every minute of using it. Next up, we have a Middle Eastern Love that is Nebras by Latafa. This is a dupe for Eilish by Billie Eilish. And I got to smell that about two months ago. And quite frankly, I'd say that these are Nebras and Eilish are, let me say, like 75 to 80 percent alike. They smell very similar. They might have, you know, slight nuances or, you know, differences here and there, but they smell very similar. Now, Nebras is like your sweet, spicy vanilla with fruitiness, with cacao. So it has red berries. It's got mandarin, vanilla, cacao, rose, sugar, you know, tanker, amber, musk. That has to give you a picture of what we're dealing with. When I first got this, I, I liked it, to be fair, but I just... You know, like there were some parts of it that I was trying to get with. But guys, I've had this for over six months now. And I can tell you that it is stunning. I, I Oh my goodness. I love it. It's macerated. You know, it smells so warm. It smells so... Not, all, not overly sweet, but you know, like that very lactonic, chocolatey... Oh God, I love this. <laughs> I really, really love it. I love it. If you have Eilish, I don't think that you need this, to be honest. And I mean, it can be one or the other, in my own opinion. This is so yummy. It's just like a sweet cup of cocoa with vanilla essence, with some fruity syrup in it. Love, love, love it. It has great longevity as well. So when you wear this, just know that it's going to last. It doesn't project too loudly, but 
creates a great little scent bubble. You want to keep sniffing yourself. And then as it gets older, older, older in your collection, as it macerates, it then becomes very intoxicating. So if you're somebody who likes, you know, creamy, like tonic, chocolatey type perfumes, this is the one for you. Next up, we have this one from Michael Kors that I would kind of put in the family of Nebras, but maybe not as gourmand as Nebras. Now, this doesn't say that it has vanilla, but I can swear that this perfume has vanilla somewhere in the base. Anyway, so it has notes of bergamot, black pepper, floral notes, saffron, amber, musk, and woody notes. So obviously, perfect for warm weather. It has like a great balance of warmth, spiciness and that touch of floral sweetness that i love the amber and the musk base with that spicy black pepper gives you a sort of coziness right but it's a crisp citrus in there that also creates some balance so that this is not just thing but there's also an invigorating side to it if you get what i mean so i get a powdery vanilla like i said earlier i don't want to believe that this doesn't have vanilla i get a powdery vanilla note in here somewhere and as it macerates, the saffron becomes more apparent. Apparent, and that adds a slightly mysterious quality to this perfume, and I love it. This one, to me, actually leans a bit unisex. I don't know if it's the saffron, but there's just something in it that is very mysterious, dark. You know, I really love this one. I love it, and I feel like it is the right amount of warm and spicy for a cold day. Longevity-wise... I would say that it does moderately well. So it will give you like two, three hours on your skin, maybe five hours on your clothes thereabout. Okay, so last for today is Burberry Goddess. I talked about this in my last video and I think this is just an indulgent lavender vanilla cacao ginger that I am currently living for. It is absolutely stunning. This is particularly intoxicating i'm telling you and the sillage is fire there is such a sweetness in here that is very reassuring the ginger has that sparkly bright kick that balances the creaminess of the vanilla so it's lush it's comforting it's creamy it's the right amount of sweet oh my god sweet and floral that makes you want to just keep sniffing yourself and that is what happens anytime i wear this so i would wear this in cold weather just because of how reassuring it is i think this is a perfectly done perfume and i will recommend it to anybody if you can afford it because it is beautiful there you have it guys my seven vanillas that i would wear in cold weather these are very warm, very comforting. A general theme here really is that, you know, they have some accompanying notes that make the vanilla more wearable, that make it more elegant. The vanilla gives the comfort. Some of them, the woods give you that staying power. You know, they're just really stunning perfumes. And I think that if you, if you really want to get that vanilla warmth, these perfumes will give you it. If you have any of them, please let me know what you think in the comments. Also, let me know what vanilla perfumes you're wearing in cold weather. Until I see you on another video, if you haven't subscribed, don't hesitate to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye, guys.